everyone, Yankel here. Today we're gonna learn how to braise some pork. We've got one of our pork boneless blade roasts. I'm gonna season it, just salt and pepper. We're gonna add all the flavor through the braising process. We've got onions, celery, and carrots. We're gonna cut them into nice large chunks because we want them to add flavor, but we don't want them to dissolve. Nice big chunks. Nothing fancy. I love scaring my mom by cutting things while looking at other people. So, you know, cut, just keep your fingers out of it. We're at the stove. We're going to preheat the oven to 300 degrees, which is a good braising temperature. The pan is hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. I'm gonna go fat side down, just to get a good hard sear. Two to three minutes per side. Make sure you sear all the sides. We've got a beautiful sear all over. Just crusty and delicious. I don't need to add any more fat. I've got a little bit of fat that rendered off the pork, so I'm gonna add my vegetables right in there. We're gonna let the vegetables sear a little bit. So I'm gonna add half of my braising liquid, which in this case is apple cider. I'm gonna use the liquid to scrape the bottom of the pan. I want all those crusty bits that we got from the pork during searing. We're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. That'll add some body to the braising liquid as well as a little bit of acidity. We're gonna add our pork back into the pot. Just kinda of nestle it down there. Then we're gonna add the rest of our braising liquid. Wait for it to come to a simmer. Put the lid on into the oven. Really nice looking pork butt. So, what we're looking for is fall apart tender. And look at that, opens right up. So, let's give it a taste. It's so good. My mom and Jenny tell me not to talk with my mouth full, but this is just too good. 